Today in our 2014 Buick Enclave, we're going to be test fitting the Kuat NV 2.0 two bike platform rack for two inch hitches, part number NV22G. We already have a bike installed on the rack. Let's go and take a closer look and show off some of the features. Now the first feature I'd like to show off is the fact that this can tilt away with the bike still attached to get rear hatch access. To do that, holding on to the bike rack, we'll pull this tab here at the front towards us, let it come down. And now we have full access to our rear hatch to get what we need. We'll go ahead and lift the bike back up into its original position until you hear it click. Now how this is actually attached to the rack, we're going to have two points of contact with absolutely no frame contact at all. We're going to have a wheel strap at the rear here which is adjustable to accommodate different size bikes, and then we're going to have this wheel hook up at the front. Now let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. We'll go to the rear strap first, push it up on the gray tab to release that strap. And then when we release the wheel hook, we're going to make sure we're holding onto the bike because we don't want it falling into the vehicle. Push this button at the top, like so, push up and away. Go ahead and fold that back up out of the way. Now with the bike rack in this position, I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outer edge, We've got about 30 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. For our ground clearance, we're at about 25 and a half inches. And then our closest point is going to be about 7 inches to this edge. And then from the center of the hitch pin hole to that same point is going to be about 11 and a half inches. So just keep that in mind if you have a different style hitch installed on your vehicle. Now to gain more rear, excuse me, now to gain more rear clearance, we can fold this up against the vehicle. To do that, again, we'll bring this tab towards us, push up, and you hear that click again. Again, measuring from the edge of the bumper, now we've added only about 13 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that did make quite a bit of difference. Another thing I'd like to point out is that this does have a workstation attached to it. You can lift this up and it will grab your bike by the post so you can actually work on it before you hit the trails. How this actually attaches to the hitch, we're going to have a locking pin which will secure it to your vehicle and then this anti-rattle bolt knob at the end that you'll turn to the right to tighten it up and that will take out the shake and play in the shank and make for a smoother ride. So there you have it for the Kuat NV 2.02 bike rack part number NV22G on our 2014 Buick Enclave. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.